wrong. If you say, why are we bent on frustrating business, I think it's not fair. Business of the house is guided by two very important things. One, the constitution, two, the standing orders. Both the constitution and the standing orders are very clear. That before a decision is taken, you should have a specific number. And if you are aware, the Supreme Court itself ruled when we had the same challenges in the matter of the approval of the budget. And the Supreme Court ruling is very clear that you must have at least half or more than half of members of parliament present. What we simply did is to demand that things be done in accordance with the constitution and the standing order. So if you describe that as trying to create problems in the house, I really don't think that we are being fair to the NDC. You are saying that in Well, I, I, no, I just told him that it's a failure on his part. It is the responsibility of the chief whip to whip his members to come to the chamber. So you cannot fail to discharge that responsibility and then tend to blame the NDC as having been having an agenda to frustrate the business of the house. If he had whipped his members into the chamber, I don't think that we would have gotten to where we got to here.